How's it going, YouTube? Uh, back with another video here. Just wanted to start a home network slash server, home automation, all that good stuff series. So, we're going to start with part one, just going to cover everything wire-wise and how we're connecting everything. So, start off with showing you guys the awesome, awesome job that Spectrum well, previously Time Warner. Uh, Time Warner did. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Wires are installed neatly and professionally. Um, no, they look awful. Uh, I, it took me to take 10 minutes to trace the line running to uh, upstairs for our modem so we could put it down here. Um, just because there's like six or seven wires and they're all black, same size. They're all bundled exactly. Um, they're bundled together with zip ties, like, you know, in, in a bundle. They're not loose or anything, so there's no slack or anything on them. It's just a pain in the ass. But, uh, so this line, this Cat5, yellow Cat5 line runs other side of the wall all the way over. And then where that green box is on the other side of that. Um, straight up into the wall. That goes to my room. And then right here where that line's coming down from is where my brother's room is so then we go all the way down here keep going keeps going and then the uh, cable line I was telling you guys about joins it joins actually like over there but that's first you can easily see it and it runs all the way over down to there and we'll get back to here in a minute. Um, but then there's six lines running uh, from our crawl space over. There's two in there, and then there's four that come down right up here. So there's uh, one for the speaker system, one for the TV, and then four. The four that come straight down are one for my mom's computer, one for um, a Unify or a Ubiquity access point. Another, and then two others are for the phone lines. I'm doing uh, the phone lines th over Cat5. So then everything runs up and over our AC unit. Um, nicely bundled. And then it comes down into this nice little, I believe it's a 6U rack. Um, we'll come back to this in a minute. I just want to go over the server real quick. So I got a Dell PowerEdge R410 on eBay for $150. Uh, came with two 5620s. Those are the quad core 8 thread Xeons. Uh, it's 1366 Master Race. <laughs> um, but what I wound up doing was snagging a pair of 5670s which are the six core 12 thread Xeons for I believe it was $60 shipped so then I popped those in there um, came with 32 gigs of RAM and then when I was at Best Buy last week there was a 120 gig PNY SSD so I picked that up for the boot drive for uh, server I'm running 2000 server 2008 right now um, not sure what I'm going to do just yet. I definitely plan to run a Plex Media server um, and all that jazz. But for now, I think what I'm going to do is set up DHCP server, set up DNS, set up all that stuff, and then just have everything run through that like a, like a corporate or business environment would. Just because at work, it would make my job easier. If I uh, have to test something, I can always just remote into my server because a lot of the servers we managed uh, are still running 2008 or 2012. So I could always test something uh, in a test environment or you know at, on my home server, which is uh, less mission critical than uh, before it goes live on a, a business server. Uh, that way, if anything messes up, I can can uh, go from there and try and fix it. But enough about that. So here's all the, where everything gets terminated and punched down and all that good stuff. 
So, let's step over this wood pile here real quick. <laughs> so, basically what we got going on here, um, the cable line comes down and into the modem. Well, I guess I can show you guys the all the lines are terminated into a 24 port patch panel um, which then go into a 24 port gigabit TP-Link switch model numbers right there if you guys want to pick it up it was like 60 bucks um, it's, it's not a managed switch it's unmanaged dummy switch um, but really don't need a managed switch for a home network unless you want to get crazy um, router wise Netgear Seven, AC1750 on Prime Day, I got this for $50. Um, really happy about that because we had a cheapo ASUS router and it's going on five years old, so snagged this bad boy up and got that going. Um, but as far as how we're getting internet connection wise, um, here's our spectrum modem. Uh, so the cable line runs into there, then that one foot blue patch patch cable runs into the back of the router then this white cable going into the switch runs from the back of here from one of the LAN ports into the server or into the switch sorry and then the server uh, network cables right there um, I do have iDRAC set up on the server um, so I can remote in if the server's off and turn it on or configure stuff without going through remote desktop or whatever. Um, I just don't have a second cable plugged in for that yet, nor do I have the native second uh, jack plugged into the server instead of the one. Um, you might notice here, I don't know if I, I think I believe I said this, but we're doing, uh, we're bundled through Time Warner TV cable, or TV internet and phone lines. Um, so right here's the uh, phone lines. They're Cat Five E. Everything's Cat Five E, by the way. But uh, in case you didn't know, what you can do is Cat Five uh, cables or, or sorry, phone lines run off uh, four wires. And what you can do is the orange pairs and the blue pairs of wires. You can use those in an RJ11 connector and it's um, orange white blue blue white orange to do a straight through cable and then you can just use those for your phone line cables um, if you want to do it that way so pretty cool um, I like how it's set up so far uh, it's not super clean uh, just yet I plan to mount the servers on something or find a different table than right there um, but yeah so that's pretty much it for now um, hope you guys like it and until then